on KK Java tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll understand what is POM in Maven project. Yeah, so let's start. Uh, POM is nothing but it's a core element of an any Maven project. Yeah, uh, Maven project consists of one configurable file called POM.xml. It's a XML file which stands for the abbreviation project object model. So POM stands for project object model yeah uh, this pom.xml will always be located in the root directory of any maven project so if you create any maven project then this file will be always located in the root directory of your project pom.xml contains all the necessary information about the configuration details dependencies included and plugins included in the project right so if you look at the standard structure of a POM, uh, it has uh, uh, many elements uh, that we will see in the next slide. Uh, if you look at the POM.xml, POM.xml can have uh, various configuration like dependency used in the projects. When I say dependencies, uh, that may be any library or jar files, right? Next plugins right uh, we have a various kind of plugins in uh, maven like uh, to generate a genuit genuit test report you have a plugin uh, to configure a tomcat you have a separate plugin to generate jar file or var file we have a separate plugin so there are various plugins exist in the maven right to perform different action then uh, pom.xml also contains the project version right so uh, you have a uh, two kind of version one is the snapshot and a uh, second is the fixed version so if your project is under the development phase then that version is called snapshot so whenever you say snapshot means uh, that project is under de development right so if you are working on any snapshot version right and some other uh, la latest snapshot uh, uh, have been updated on the repository then uh, then what happens when you try to build your project then latest uh, snapshot will be fetched and that will be stored in your uh, local repository then we can also configure uh, mailing list right so if anybody try to build your uh, uh, project right then you can have a configured email address so uh, email can be triggered to uh, those developers right then we have a reporting section so to generate a, any kind of report like generate test case or integration test report you can uh, configure a report uh, uh, section as well then uh, last but not the least uh, you can uh, configure a uh, build profiles as well so uh, as you know when you work on any project then uh, we have a various environment we have a developer develop environment we have a staging we have a testing we have a prod environments right so uh, so Profiles is nothing but the you can customize some properties which is environment specific, right? So some of the properties uh, which is valid for the only develop environment, some of the properties which is only uh, valid for the test, and the rest of the properties that is uh, valid only for the prod environment. So uh, properties which is uh, basically uh, belongs to the specific environment that can be done by uh, uh, setting the profiles in the uh, pom.xml right profiles uh, we can set in the pom.xml uh, apart from that uh, profiles can also we can set in the settings.xml file right so that uh, this is the basically standard format of uh, your pom.xml uh, in this pom.xml i have included minimal things but not all the things so few things like uh, like group id which is must here if you look in the model version model version always 400 uh, but the group id always you have to include right group id artifact id and version in if you if you uh, combine these three things that is called basically uh, by combining these three things you can uniquely uniquely identify any artifact on the uh, any repository right so combination of these three always makes it unique right so group id artifact id and version these three uh, components is a uh, mandatory one model version that is always 4.0.0 uh, right 
apart from that you have a dependency section there you can configure all your dependencies means all the library on which your project dependents apart from that whatever we have discussed uh, like you can have a, a various plugins configuration you can have a build section you can have a profiles and many more right so guys that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial